Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Lost Dimension and on this episode we are once again going to be doing another character quest but before we do that I just wanted to go to tips and show you guys where to locate the character files that you get from doing the character quests and in these files there's more information about each character basically um, I don't know if I'm going to go through these on camera simply because this is something optional that I don't really want to force on people um, so if you want to read it I just wanted to show you guys where they unlock basically so yeah you can find them here and you can also find lore and tutorials as well if you ever get stuck and need to look over things so let's move on Okay, so last but not least, so this is the last character quest that we've unlocked at the moment. We have Marco's quest. So Marco hurt in the past, had shut himself off from others, but show support stirs his hardened heart. Let's have a look at enemies. All level 28, and they're quite scattered as well, so this should be an easy quest to do. Just all stick together and take them out. Looks like Marco is away from the group, which isn't good because if Marco dies, it's mission over. So if he can take out, I should have actually kept my distance there. I need to. So it's all closed off. Best bet is coming over here and trying to kill this enemy. Just go away. Let's go. There's no switch around here, which absolutely sucks. I'll give you a hand. Leave it to me. Let's begin. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I could have just attacked. Oh well. Is that all? Commencing assault. What's over here? I wanted to see if there's an option to bring up the map, but there isn't. So annoying. I wish I could survey the map more easily. Here I go. Roger there. Whether that big one's gonna move down the corridor or not. If it doesn't, then I'm alright, because I can just leave Marco there hidden for a little bit. Oh god, it didn't move. Let's do That's this. awesome. Come on! I, 
I need to. It's all right, Marco. You can stay here. From what I can tell, there's no switch or anything down this corridor. So Marco can just stay here and wait. I'll turn you to ash. Begin. How's that? Commencing assault. Move out. Nice. Here I go. Starting to move now. Not good. It's quite far away though, to be fair. Let's do this. Need to. Let's go. I think we should wait here and then when it's close to that, explode it. Getting closer. Let's do this. Get past. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Come on. I I need to. I'll turn you to ash. And again, I can't get past. I see any problem with these uh narrow yeah. passageways the problem is, is he's too close Just have to see what happens if it actually hits me from there or not. Oh my god, it did! <laughs> and it did a lot of damage. I 
don't see still don't see the switch anywhere you know there it is right move out here I go Do this. L let's go. I'll turn you to ash. Yeah. Burn. Nice. Oh my god, I didn't think she was in the uh I didn't think she was gonna get hit. Doesn't just doesn't have any self confidence or self worth. I don't know, you know, it might be better if I send Nagi this way to back up. It might be able to shoot Marco from here. I think it will, you know. Marco around here and use healing just so he's out of the way a bit. This isn't good. Move out. Now can I attack from here? No. Uh raises agility. I go. 
bad. Right, let's back off and use an item. I, I need to. for you. Damn! That critical hit damage though. Oh. No. Cause we're comrades and friends. Almost. Have we not earned your trust by now, Marco. Okay. But but yeah. One level up. Kimono. I'm moving on once we've saved the world. Zenji and Toya. Okay, let's spend this gift point. Actually, everybody's got one. Um, Need to upgrade flame mastery more actually. Make it stronger since I'm using fire the most. 
thunderstorm. Great recovery. That's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and speak with Marco. Hello, show. Hopefully, he's warmed up to us right. a bit more now. You're really great, show. What's with you all of a sudden? I'm at a loss at this point. I give in. There's only one choice for me right now. To trust in you. It'll take some getting used to. There's no need to force it right away. It's fine as long as you actually change in the end. Sho, you're kind of like a... counselor. <laughs> and I have gotten this far together, but I think I'll still be relying on your counseling until it's all over. I don't have such a great occupation. All I did was talk to you because I was curious. And maybe, uh, maybe you could keep on doing so until the end? Because the sort of world you live in is the sort of world I want to save. I see. Then for the sake of the world, we must work together. Oh, he's yeah, so cute! Marco! Agree, this is the happiest I've ever seen him, rather than why are you talking to me? You must have an ulterior motive. Another trophy? Let's have a look at one. At least one, Marcos. So let's have a look. Preparation. Have the test subject wait in the lab and lock the door. Set up an exit on the opposite wall from the impassable door. Place a giant piece of metal in front of the exit to obstruct entry. Give various pieces of information to the subject and observe... Observe... Ah! Observe... Observe how it affects this method of escape. Note, when the subject escapes, he will mistakenly believe that the false information provided is true. Extreme aggression is anticipated. Recommend tranquilization as quickly as possible. Subject cannot escape unless he moves the piece of metal from the door himself. The metal is rough, roughly 30 tons and is composed of particularly durable alloy. Drop the lights in the test lab and announce that the test has been called off. Announce that a fire has broken out in the facility and all test subjects must gather in the living room. At once for evacuation, turn on the emergency sirens. Warn the subject that the oxygen levels are dropping within the test lab. Oh my god, this sucks! Slam on the exit doors from the other side and call the test subject's name. Say the name of the child and test the test subject is close to and tell him that child is in danger. Inform the subject that the child will die if he does not use his ability to save them. Frequently sound the oxygen level warnings and sirens. And then number two, telekinesis ability measurements. Um, place the test subject in the room and perform the above. Headings to observe the results. After all headings were implemented, the test subject succeeded in escaping through tra tranquilizers. The tranquilizers were shot at the subject. He was able to halt the darts in midair due to his heightened senses. The backup sleeping gas then takes effect. Condition of the men metal obstruction confirmed. Not only was the 30 ton chunk moved, it had been crushed beyond all recognition. So basically all of these files are uh, like t testing each of the sealed members abilities either when they were younger or something like that so they are interesting to read but like I said in a previous episode I'm not going to be reading them I just wanted to at least show one so you guys feel free to read them in your own time if you get the game basically I don't want to force reading on people some people don't like to uh, read a load of stuff in a let's play walkthrough so i don't intend on including it so i'm going to stop this episode here guys i think that's all of them at the moment let's look over here 
Mana wants to talk to me still. Let's see what she says because I've already done her character quest. Care to come along, show? I'm delighted. Thanks, mate. You know, I've been thinking a lot about how I can get myself to believe I'm important or cute. But it's possible it lays on a path that I cannot walk with you. What do you mean? You know, I believe that it doesn't matter what happens to me as long as it's done for you. However, things are different now. I want to appreciate myself more. And for that reason, I need to live on. Even if it would mean I'd be your enemy. I see. I suppose we'll cross that bridge if we get there. Quite. I really hope that such a time never does come. But I won't regret it. I was able to appreciate myself a bit more thanks to you. Cheers for everything you've done for me, Sho. It'd be great if we can stick together till the end. Indeed. It'd be nice if we can. I hope I can, together with you. I really do hope so. Bond strengthened with mana. There we go. Silver trophy for mana. And I believe that's all of the quests now. Let's just double check. All of them complete on the first floor. All complete on the second floor. All complete on the third. And we've got the first quest on the fourth floor, which we will be doing on the next episode so don't forget to like comment favorite and share it really does help me out as a youtuber and as always thank you for watching guys